Anyone can tell that I'm trying to conceal my identity with a mask like this. Or even a mask like this. But with a hyper-realistic silicone mask, it may not be so easy to tell. I'm Rob Jenkins at the Department of Psychology, University of York. We're interested in how realistic face masks are these days. People have used face masks in disguise for a very long time, but technology has advanced through things like special effects that are used in Hollywood to the point where we've got masks that are so realistic that people might not even realise that they're looking at a mask at all. In our study, the setup was very simple. We just showed people pairs of images. One of them was always uh, a mask, and the other was always a real face. And all they had to do is just tell which one is the mask. But it turned out that was not as easy as it sounds. So the best masks these days are so realistic that people can't tell which is which with any degree of reliability. Well, this has real implications for security and crime prevention because if nobody notices that the person nearby is wearing a mask in the first place, then there's no reason that it should arouse their suspicion. There have been some really interesting cases recently where the police have put out a description of someone that they're looking for. And it turns out that the description has been completely wrong. Like either the wrong, uh, you know, wrong age, wrong gender, wrong race. They're looking for something completely different. And the reason is that the person who committed the crime was wearing one of these masks while they did it. 